box tag. What's that sound? No plant scientist, but that looks pretty seedy to me. <laughs> hey, you okay over there? What, uh, me? Oh, I I'm great, thanks. Oh, okay. feel much better. Sorry about that. Cabbage burps are the worst. Ah, well, anyway, thank you. So this much is better. where I get off. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. What? For saving you from that time bomb. It's just a seed. Ah, but isn't a seed just a bomb in slow motion? here.
the mother of them. Back before they paid the gifts. No. Whoops. Yeah. No. That was for someone else. No. Anyone else? No. No. to the heart of this bad mood. All right, all right, let me at him, let me at him! Where'd they go? Hey, where's the seed? What seed? Oh, that thing. Oh, I dropped it in a river far away. Right. Hey, it's not in there. Not in there, I said. <gasps> Come on, killer. I'm taking you along for protection. Good idea! It's you and me, kid. Let's show them who they're messing with. Over this way? Oh, great. That, that's exactly what I would have done. I haven't been over here in a while. <laughs> when was the last time I ate liverwurst? Careful, slippery stuff here. They really ought to put down some yellow cones here. Uh, you don't suppose you have any golf shoes on you, huh? Something with uh, cleats? If you start slipping, remember to lean into the slip. Oh wait, is that... Or maybe it's away from the slip. Careful! I think one of these tiles is loose. Why didn't I stock up on side pops? Did I hear a crack? Watch your step. A little grout would do wonders for this. Thing. Step lightly, young ward. I know how I can lighten the load. Did that help? Ah, uh, being back in this place really brings up some... <clears throat> brings up some... <laughs> memories. Oh, are you headed down to the boss's office? I do not envy you. Fired? You can't fire me! I helped create this place! I'd hate to see Truman get that mad. Another one. This is going great, don't you think? I'm off to find more seats.
Here's the steamer trunk tag. Now, just hang on there. What? What's wrong? I wasn't doing anything. You weren't about to grab that seed. <laughs> grab that what? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Let me grab that. No, wait! Thanks for the tip. Hey, glad you could come. I love a good wedding, don't you? Now then, to the Champagne Tower, my good man! Uh, hello down there! An air sickness bag. Yep. Oh. oh, they had to carry Harry to the ferry.
anyone having a have an air sickness bag? Breath from above. <laughs> Don't get so close. Wait, no, I want that. Wait a minute. I don't know about this place. this bad mood around here. I don't think I'm hurting it at all. Wow, remind me not to invite you to my wedding. Given Bob two of those seeds. They're harmless. You what? You have no idea the harm you've done, do you? Time to get serious. I'm running out of places to hide this thing. Ooh, this is good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? I like wedding cake. Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Yep. I appreciate you offering to carry me down the aisle. My uh, regular carrier broke a wing when we crashed into the champagne tower. I'm fine though. Didn't feel a thing. Takes a lot to crack this old uh, noggin. You know what? I don't think I'm ready to. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm feeling a little off. And I don't want to ruin the ceremony. <laughs>
Fortunato. Take this man, Helmet Fulbear. The happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people, until I met this man. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds, and I tried to pull them out. But this mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I needed it. Good to see you again, Helmet. I'll make sure this gets back to Bob. Well, Bob, you did it! Yep, I did it. Why so nervous? I'm just... I'm starting to remember... why I got rid of those seeds. I warned you, and I warned you, but did you listen? No! But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. Hey, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone! I'm protecting him! <gasps> protecting him? From what? You're about to find out. Seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. Hey, uh, maybe this one I think I need to figure out what's causing it. was so nice here before you. Hey, knock that off. Ready to go now. I can't deal with that bad mood until I figure out what's behind it. Is it uh, too late? You make it so hard to do my job. 
Everything was so nice here before you. <laughs> supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. Doesn't need to hurt you, I mean. Tell me! 
if this one's too hot. Oh, could you? so bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? Willing to give it a try. How about those? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet! So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But... how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Now I just need some help with those killer bees. Strong bees. Smoke get in your eyes. Yeah, bees. Smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. Yep. someone put into my mind. Which means, there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? 
Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Kruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Kruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait, Cassie. Who's she? You know, if you sting me, you'll die. I think. Hmm, there's a narrow slot that I don't think I can fit through. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Hello? Cassie? Bees? Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there... Another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. 
dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. I think I hear something.
help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. look for the missing books. Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? I gotta run. No running in the library. This librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche locked down. Until I think... Hey, you're not a child. No. Well... This shouldn't take too long. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the dogs that don't go wrong. Seriously? There's a narrow slot I don't think I can fit through. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Watch out! There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you! Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? 
important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision. the archetype you need most right now. Look at me! Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Your Wait, architect okay. will act on its own sometimes. But I think if I use projection on this door, my task. architect, sub clone. Ah, uh, that's cute. My clone. Oh, oh look, look at him go! Right now. So cute. You sure you want to do that? <laughs> Dusty. That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. Uh, I know. And then Are you I'll from tell you my the plan for the librarian. Yes, yes, only. Ow. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. My dogs are barking. Huh? I would not go in there if I were you. Why do I have to do all the hard work? Doody doo. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that? Some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Excuse me. Yes. Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Hmm, there's a narrow don't slot that I don't think books? I can sit through. Yes, there's a slot. Here I go! Miffo! Miffo! Meow! Meow! I can't do anything until I get rid of that enabler. Hey! Let's see how much everybody is now.
under that enabler's protection. <laughs> some emotional baggage nearby. <clears throat> hey, do you bite people? Periodically. was bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh, my God! Pineapple and ham is an abomination! I knew you were a fell beast! Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. Nice try, but I'm covalently bonded, sucker. <laughs> First tag.
He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but... We can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. <laughs> <laughs>